I'm going to instruct in using the Dell OS recovery tool to download a Dell Windows 7 Pro reinstallationizer. So if we go to the Dell OS recovery tool download page and download the Dell OS recovery tool, we can install it. Note you need Microsoft.NET Framework to install the Dell OS recovery tool, otherwise you'll get an error. So you'll need to download and install this if you're running Windows 7 and it's in built to Windows 10. So let's launch the Dell OS recovery tool. And what we can do is we can select this computer and we can see what it's got available. Now it doesn't have the Windows 7 Pro reinstallationizer that I'm after for this service tag. So I'll input another service tag where it is available. And it will take some time to download this relatively large file. And now we want the actual installationizer. So in order to get this, what we need to do is open up Windows Explorer and go to C. And unfortunately, it's within the hidden folder program data. So we'll just type in program data to the top and then go to Dell and then go to OS recovery tool and then go to downloads. Now you'll get a security warning when you try and go to this downloads folder. Just select OK and continue. Copy the ISO to the desktop. And now we're going to close the Dell OS recovery tool. If for some reason you have some problem with the Dell OS recovery tool, such as it not accepting your service tag, then you can use the Windows ISO download tool and this generates direct download links from Dell servers. Select Dell to the right and then Windows 7 to the bottom. It doesn't matter what model you select. Then select the Windows 7 64 bit image and then, and then copy the 64 bit download link and paste it into the address of Google Chrome. So there's the ISO and there is a 24 hour time limited token before the download link expires. Okay, so now that we've got the ISO, we're going to use Rufus to make a bootable USB. So we're going to select the ISO and we're going to use Rufus to compute its checksums. Now, the checksum should match those that I list on the guide. If they don't, then you've got a unique ISO and it's likely corrupt. Change the partition scheme to GPT for a 2012 to 2015 DAO and change it to MBR for a 2009 to 2010 DAO. If you're unsure, you'll need to power off your DAO and power up and press F12 to get to the boot menu. And if you see any mention of UFI or legacy in the boot menu, then you know you have a UFI bias. Change the file system to NTFS. The reason for doing so is we may later slipstream drivers and updates to the install.wim and this will exceed four gigabytes. And we need to use the file format NTFS opposed to FAT32 which the Dell OS recovery tool uses. Okay, so we'll get a notification that secure boot needs to be disabled in order to boot to a USB that is NTFS formatted. However, secure boot needs to be disabled anyway for Windows 7 because Windows 7 doesn't support secure boot. So we can select close and then close again. And that's us created our bootable USB. I will instruct in another tutorial video how to convert this Dell Windows 7 Pro reinstallation USB into a Dell Windows 7 Home Premium reinstallation USB or another edition of Windows 7.